And um, today's intro question comes to us from Zeptimus. This question is, now that Hatch is complete, what are we going to do with our, with our lives? <laughs> um, I will pass it to Zeptimus, actually, since he's had some time to think about this question. Oh, no. I mean, I was thinking, but I, I have no idea. Like, I personally, I, I just want to <laughs> enjoy the process, like, you know, having fun building this and, yeah, and make it through the common support and yeah personally it's like a new experience and i want to choose to enjoy it uh, and i'll pass it to griff um i'm gonna work on the give economy <laughs> <laughs> that's what lauren said um no but uh no actually you know the hatch is just the beginning not the not anywhere near the end so it's like uh there's a couple of votes that we need to get going <laughs> Hey, follow like the seventy-five percent governance rights to uh, to uh, people, and there was a few other books that need to be done, like getting uh, switching keys for people who lost their keys and or want to trade addresses and things like that. So, no shortage of work to be done, and of course we got to get ready for the Cummins upgrade. Uh, but I am gonna also now that. I am going to put some more time in the give economy. That's a big plan for this week while I'm in Denver. Uh, and I'll pass it to Sam. Well, um, for me, finishing the hatch is like, okay, something is unblocked and now I have more free time. Um, of course, we still have we are in the middle of the road because we have to finish the command separate but it doesn't feel like the hatch the hatch was um something that took too long and i feel like now it's just installing uh, migrating to a gardens installing a bonding curve it looks like it's it will be not so hard as the hatch so I have been working on a new issuance policy for OneHive. Um, it's kind of an, an exercise of token engineering. And I have also uh, other projects with Paolo and Gabi. Uh, we have been working on an application that stores secrets in ceramic. Uh, maybe we start in another hackathon in order to have a um, conviction voting application without the Aragon parts so it can be easily installed in different blockchains which is something that I wanted to do for so long now and it was kind of needed and it, 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 there is a hackathon now uh, with Gitcoin about governance uh, it looks like the, the perfect fit many projects uh, Let's say that this is what I wanted to do many, many months from now. Uh, I will pass it to Paolo. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me well? Awesome. Uh, okay, um, topics for today. I would like to discuss the progress regarding the EVM scripter. Well, I mean, CRISPR. Uh, and um, bad things for today. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a bar, so maybe you you might hear some background noise. Uh, but yeah, I hope it doesn't. Uh, I hope it's not that bad. And yeah, uh, I'll pass it to Septi. I think Dosh. Hello, hello. Uh, what's back. the question today? The question today is, what are we doing with ourselves now that the hatch is complete? Oh, okay. Um, now that hatch is complete, it's time for me to learn more about the hatch. Um, so yeah, I'm just dropping in here and just uh, yeah, learning more about uh, token engineering. And uh, yeah, really, really, I don't know much about you guys yet. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just creeping in and just learning slowly. Um, yeah, that's, that's what's up. <laughs> Great. Um, who is, is there someone uh, after that hasn't gone? Maybe Griff or... Uh, or I think it's back to me now. 
right? Okay, okay, back yeah. to Brad, okay. All right, um, so getting into today's call. So um, we've got- What about you, Bradley? What? What about me? Oh, what am I doing? Um, getting this commons upgrade done. Um, I, I feel like I wasn't, uh, I came into the hatch when it was pretty much about ready to go and, um, you know, happy to be here, but this commons upgrade is the, the thing I'm focused on. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah, so we've got a month, a month until we want to have the upgrade ready to roll and we do need to definitely have some, um, some dress rehearsals or, or test runs in the meantime. Um, I, yeah, I want to make sure that this experience is not going to be buggy at all. I've, I've, as I've been using the um, commons apps, I have run into a couple of bugs. Um, so I just want to like this got to be a, a well tested process. Anyway, let's do updates and then talk about uh, maybe reverse engineer back from that four months, four weeks from now, and um, talk about how we can make sure that we fit in some good tests. So um, let's see. Well, hey, Vitor, welcome in. Uh, we're just getting to yes, updates. Yes. So um, for the ABC, how, how are we doing there? Did we get it to Brett? Yes, um, we, we just sent it to Brett, uh, it looks like um, he is processing it. I, I don't know, I, I didn't talk with him directly because I didn't have his, cont his contact, but yeah. we've talked with him and now I am in contact with him. Um, okay. But we, we didn't exchange messages. Gotcha, okay. Um, Griff, do you have anything to add there about uh, Brett and the, yeah? No, not really. Um, you know, he said, I can read you what he's, what he talks about. Let me find it. So he said, he's been a bit strapped for time trying to finish some other commitments. He'll have a look over the weekend and probably through to next week and DM Sam about questions, etc. Uh, and he asked for what the timeline is. So, uh, yeah. And I told him there's two days left of the hatch. And yeah, I think, um, just on timeline, it sounds like we're the, the, we're hoping to get the, well, Vitor is, uh, holding on the project management for the, um, for the, uh, for commons, for the common upgrade, commons, um, uh, config dashboard. Although I just want to call it the Commons Upgrade Dashboard so bad, I feel like we should just call it that. Um, we'll but, call it that. <laughs> we really should, because I can never call it what it's supposed to be called. But, um, but either way, uh, and our internal deadline is the 15th to get that out. So that puts us actually launching more around um, October, early October uh, as a timeline. So, But obviously, we'd like Brett to have any comments as soon as possible so we can fix them. Gotcha. So that means uh, more like eight weeks instead of four weeks for the commons upgrade? For us to actually have it yeah. like going live and like we're going to put half of, uh, you know, um, $1.5 million into it early October. Okay. Sounds good. But hopefully it's done completely before that, and we just test the hell out of it so that we don't have any issues, right? Like, that's yeah, the absolutely, absolutely. Great. Welcome in, Chewy. Thanks for joining. Uh, let's see. Okay, so gardens. Um, did we get that? Does anyone know if that PR got opened in the gardens? Yeah, um, I I talk with Pavel. Uh, he's not here today. Uh, the only thing that was needed was to change the um, the only thing left to do was to change the address. So if it's not open yet, uh, it will just be uh, change the address and and upload it. 
There is another thing that it's important from, uh, I mean, this is not done, uh, let's say that, but it is almost done. Um, the other thing that is missing for gardens that I didn't remind, uh, but it's an issue about it, is uh, we, ha we need to change the front end for the kind of garden that we, we are building, because the gardens usually use the same governance token for funding, and we are going to be using XDAI. So um, we have to adapt the um, garden's front end. There is already an issue there in, in the garden repo. Okay, so they're aware of that. Yeah, uh, it's, it's part of gardens, but at the same time, um, we are in charge of that. <laughs> we have to do it. So um, I don't know if this week I will be able to work on that. It, it is just a front end thing, so it's not prioritary. Uh, because it can be done at any point. Uh, it is like uh, if we don't do it now, we can do it the last day before we do the the update, something like that. So okay. I will not uh, think that, that we need to hurry on this one. Good. Uh, all right. On to migration tool, EVM CRISPR. We have special guest Paolo with us to talk about it. Yes, um, regarding the EVM CRISPR, so the last week I've been working on that. Uh, I was uh, fixing the last uh, couple of details um, and working on the changes that Sam did also and publish uh, the first version on NPM. Uh, and also I was working on the common upgrade script. So I created uh, a repo on, the, on GitHub, on the organization, uh, where uh, uh, I pushed the, the script. And yeah, I, uh, I was working on that, um, testing it, uh, looking at the ins install apps and see that everything works well and uh, maybe i can share with you part of the code um, yeah. and i was hoping to show you the uh, an example of how to do the upgrade but i think i'm having some sort of internet connection and the transactions are, i don't know they're now sending or something like that but Maybe I can try it. Anyway, uh, let me share the screen. Um, can we come back to the script after we complete updates? Oh, sure. Thanks. Um, all right. And then TEC convert. Basic version is done. Any Anything else that we need to keep track of here? Or are we good? Like, can we kind of park it? No, nothing that is needed in order to launch, but um, th there is this market cap token supply things that we wanted. I don't know if we That's want to. Uh, 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 myself, I, I will not put um, effort in this part because it's not um, prioritary, and we can launch without that. Yeah. But if, if there are other people that wants to take on it, uh, go ahead. No, I think I think all the development effort that would want to take that on is focused on the on the dashboard. So it it's fine for it to be like a fast follow post launch, or you know, if we have extra time post dashboard, start taking it on. Sounds good. Um, on to config dashboard. Vitor and Nuggin were helping. Got some help from Pedro. Yeah, Vitor, do you want to give the update on the dashboard? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we were trying to, like, the main bottleneck is the front end because, like, front end is blocked by all the rest. So, like, try to to have, like, uh, one delivery on the front end by week. So, like, one of, four D of all the four sections and then the intro learning section so 
uh, we have the first version for the front end for the first version. So like it's working, integrating with the back end. So we need a few fixes, but other than that, like it's pretty into the planning. So next next one we have like the disputable voting. So we're pretty like in the in the plans. Okay, great. And what what do we got coming? Um, what are we gonna be working on this week? Upcoming. Uh, the front end guys, Fabio and Pedro, are finishing the intro learning sections, that initial part, and then they will pass to the speed of voting. If I'm not wrong, and then like we'll, uh, I think Marco needs to finish the design there, and then like once we validate it, we implement the front end as well. And the back end okay. is very important as well. That's great. Um, do you think that that sometime in a coming call you'll you'll be able to demo that experience for us? Sure. Yeah, I think uh, like probably next week we'll have like the something from the intro learning with and the the first section will be like a little bit fixed because there were a few <laughs> bugs into the UI. So I think that like probably next week we can show off a little bit more structured. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Excellent. All right, and then let's jump back to let's jump back to uh, the script. Um, Paolo, thanks for holding off on that. Yeah, and no problem. Okay. Uh, give me a second, and I share a screen with you. One moment. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? So, okay, so this is the script. Um, basically, I added uh, this is the uh, okay, let's start from the beginning. So the main script, basically what it does is it takes a, a new created gardens and uh, it states that, like the collateral action amount that you need to put uh, for in order to um, pass a, uh, create a vote. Uh, it also signs the agreement. Uh, it, che it checks that the, uh, the, if the agreement is signed, well, it passes to the next uh, step, but if it's not signed, uh, it's signed in it. Uh, and then it uses the ABM script, uh, scripter, uh, CRISPR, sorry, uh, here, um, and it creates the, <clears throat> the, um, the data that, that is going to forward uh, Inside a vote to the disputable voting, and then, oops, sorry, uh, and then uh, if you want, uh, uh, it votes with the signer account that you use to run this script. So, uh, so it can pass. Uh, let's try it. I was having some problems here, but uh, let's do it. Let's do it. So, basic. You can run the commands upgrade uh, and Plinkaby command or the xdi command. Uh, well, right now an xdi is not supported, but it's there. So uh, let's try. So right now. Uh, I'm using uh, gardens that I just created like 20 minutes ago. Uh, okay, connecting the CRISPR to the DAO. To the DAO. Uh, to two, it's approving the collateral action amount that you need to put. Uh, well, 
right now I'm approving a lot more, but anyway. Uh, see if it if this uh, it. Rinkaby takes its sweet time. It's not like X day. So. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Uh, but basically, it's the script. Um, if this doesn't work, I can show you the previous gardens that I, uh, well, one of the gardens that I tested, uh, and show you all the um, the applications uh, and all the permissions that it uh, that are set. Uh, the only thing that we, uh, we need to do, or I need to do, is change the Commons Bunker Market Maker for the new uh, renaming app that uh, Sam did. Okay, good. It stuck the action amount, and now it's supposed to. Okay, prepare the Commons Upgrade script here. Now it's creating the script, and then it's going to forward it. The Voting. Uh, let's see. If... see it. Uh, and yeah, uh, next steps to uh, regarding the ABN CRISPR is uh, it will be nice to add uh, other examples on how to use the library. Okay, fail. Excellent. Let's see. Oh. Well, we look like it uh, looks like plants. You need gas. Yeah. Um, which is weird because this account has like twenty ethers. So, uh, well, anyway, uh, let me show you one gardens uh, that I tested and. Uh, so you can see the uh, the commons DAO. This one. Basically, the steps are this: once you vote, uh, you need to wait like ten minutes or so to execute the vote, which is this script right here. You can do it with this script. Uh, with it, uh, it receives the gardens and uh, it takes the last. Well, the last vote that it was made to the disputable voting, and if it can execute it, well, uh, if it can do it, it will do it. And yeah, and once that, uh, all the apps are installed. And so let me show you quickly. I think. Uh, Okay. Okay. I think I can show you. Try this quickly. Change. Okay. Sorry if it takes it long too long. In the middle of okay, uh, oops, uh, sorry guys, on the wrong line here because need to connect to the DAO in order to get all the apps and operation. Oh, the other the other thing that we can do here is create like a params uh, JSON file where we can uh, configure like the entry tribute, the tribute, all the parameters that uh, are going to be decided. Uh, but yeah, it's practically uh, ready. So let's see this. Okay, connect. 
Oh. Oh. This is a lot of epic work, Paulo. This is epic. Uh, thank you, Griff. <laughs> okay, um, sorry for the... Okay, we can see here more or less the, the whole configuration. This is a gardens that I did like uh, five days ago or so. So here you can see, for example, uh, where did... Uh, here, for example, the Commons Bank, uh, Banker Market Maker uh, with uh, all the permissions here. Uh, sorry if I can show you. I cannot show you more in more detail the configuration, but uh, I was hoping to show you the whole process anyway. Um, and yeah, uh, let's see here uh, the the uh, oh the the agent that we know. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, um, if we go to the Aragon client. Uh, not going to display the all the apps correctly because as uh, like the IPFS is not like fetching the artifact uh, correctly, so it doesn't show you very well the the, conf the result tile. But um, it's there. Uh, the DAO is uh, well. Uh, I hope I can. I don't know. Um, show you once resolve this problem but anyway uh, th this is basically the script uh, i'm going to push these last changes today it's basically some refactoring i did and yeah and you can try uh, you can try yourself the script on a local machine uh, machine and see for yourself guys uh anyway uh I think I'm taking too long, so I'm going to stop here. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, this is yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that's amazing. So we have we have a we have a, a commons on Rinkeby. Yes. It exists. Uh, we, we have uh, well. I, I would like to send uh, to uh, check the DAO and see if everything working correctly and everything is configured. But yeah, uh, we we have a commons DAO working on Rinker. The next step will be uh, do the same thing in XDAI and ne then do the hatch. <laughs> nice. But yeah. Hello, Gabi. Hi. Uh, Hi, everyone. Hello. One of the things that we can do is to point the um, this DAO into um, the rinkebyconvert.tcommons.org so we can play with it. And yeah. it, it was something that was missing. Uh, and I guess that next step are to make it a kind of library that can be reused uh, to create this new configuration for the migration tools in order to avoid creating new votes before uh, all the tokens are generated. And that would be the common upgrade. They are just two things. Amazing. Yeah, that and, would be really. And, and doing it on X die. Right. Yes. That's <clears throat> incredible. Um, um, so, yeah, that's all from my side. I, I would like to publish the. Um, the uh, ABC is um, ABC post this week because uh, we have this draft. But if we could have the EVM CRISPR library this week, uh, like something that can be used, it would be nice to push it along with this post. Maybe for Wednesday we can have it, and then we will also have. Um, 
an article dedicated to the IBM CRISPR with many examples of the different scripts that one had had to do before uh, they had IBM CRISPR and how they were were do, uh, how we were doing things and how we can do them now. So I think that this article will be super interesting. And so very nice work, Paolo. Uh, yeah. I will be I will be checking it out uh, this week and see uh, how we can improve it in order to launch the first version. That would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, it, just out of curiosity, since we have Gabby here, is there um, what's the latest update on gardens on XDI? Um, last I heard, the smart contracts were there, but the front end wasn't quite there. Yes, uh, we are yet. Uh, we actually deployed the front end as well, uh, and Agave created a DAO, and we are uh, improving the UX this next few few weeks with all the feedback we, we are getting. So, so yeah, the front end will be also available to what we will be missing is the uh, onboarding creation for until we have it uh, ready. But, but yeah, the front end is going to be accessible. Yet. And Maybe. you can already, already access it in gardens uh, slash x slide that one high that are. Uh, one thing that uh, will be, we, will, we will we will be merging soon is uh, multi-chain support. So you don't, so we only keep one URL and have the automatic change, uh, automatic network change when when you are connecting with different providers. Oh, it looks so nice. How do you, I, I see a, li, a bit of a problem in, in this thing, because then the URL, if you have a garden that is called one hive in x right, and another one that is called one hive in Polygon, they will share the same URL. So I would say for this case, not to, uh, to have different URLs and have the, the name of the network in the URL. Yeah, that's a, a fair point, yeah. It's a, it's a pity, right? because it's, it was a very nice... Uh, maybe we can have something in the, in the front end in order to change the, the networks. Yeah, we are, we, but, we are doing that. Okay. The, I can show you afterwards, but okay. uh, how how Rodri did that. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, I will advise uh, okay. uh, I will I, I will advise not to do like in one hive dot io. In one hive in one hive dot io is completely fine because it's your dashboard. But in the case of the gardens, uh, the network is important in the URL. Okay, I also wanted to share something uh, that we were discussing two weeks ago, and I was kind of researching um, because there was a, one question, which was, can we have uh, governance tokens along with uh, go governance non-transferable tokens along with governance transferable tokens, like two tokens governing one garden? And I I was researching it, and the re response is like we can have it partially. Uh, we can because there is a voting aggregator in the Gardens template that controls the disputable voting, or maybe now we need to tau voting. Um, so there is this voting aggregator that allows to have many tokens that controls the DAO, but they doesn't, it doesn't work for conviction voting. So 
we could return back the rights of the governance rights for the Tao voting, but not for conviction vote in the current setting. And I have been sketching how it will be in order to have a garden that can have multiple tokens, uh, govern multiple governance tokens, and at the same time, multiple request tokens for conviction voting. So you you will be having, let's say, agave and honey as governance tokens, and then you can have xdai, honey, agave, and I don't know, uh, whatever else, as request tokens. And you are requesting a percentage of the funding pool instead of requesting for an amount of, of honey. Uh, it is completely theoretical, and I will not, I will not, uh, I don't think that we should be implementing it very soon. I don't think that we should implement it for this version or anything. It's just, I have been working the, theoric the theoretical work on how it will be a garden like that, a uh, garden version 2 that supports many tokens in each of the of the places. So I can share the screen. And um, well, if, if you want to comment something uh, that I, I share the screen, the thing is that it 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 is not something that is easy to do at all. And I think that it should be out of the scope. Um, and as a garden version two, maybe we can think on it. I have uh, one thing to say, Sam, on that. Um, uh, like you said, uh, agave and uh, xdai are unique tokens, but um, it's more in terms of the stake tokens that they're looking for. So if people are providing liquidity, they can't vote with those tokens. Um, and that's kind of what they're interested in, right? So if people can provide liquidity and also be part of the governance as well. So it works for conviction vote uh, it works for voting, but not conviction conviction voting because conviction voting needs a kind of hook. And because of that, uh, it is only agave, only people who have agave can stake on conviction voting. So it's partially support, let's say. Okay. Which is yeah. which is, which is cool. I mean it's it's very good. But not complete. So would it be possible if there was a if the token that was created had a hook? Would it was a hooked token? Would okay, I no no I it's better I, I share my screen and, and show it. So maybe it's First, we understand what what is the change, and then um, we can discuss it better. So, do you see my screen well? I I don't know if I make yeah, it. we see it. I cannot make it bigger. Sorry. So um, the the thing is that we could do it without with, with the uh, the. Wait a sec, this is not the one. This is the one. Um, let's say that right now we have a token and a token manager. And this token manager is they are directly connected with the conviction voting. And if you have another token with another token manager, you cannot connect it with the conviction voting directly. But there is something that is called voting aggregator. And voting aggregator, as it as we have it right now, it is connected with disputable voting and it works well. But in order to connect it with conviction voting, we should upgrade this voting aggregator into a hooked voting aggregator, which is not the best pattern of that you will see, because basically what it makes is every time that you are um, transferring one of those tokens, you are calling to a hook that is going to call another hook. Or technically what is happening is that it calls a set of hooks, usually it's one or two hooks, 
that is going to call uh, a, a set of hooks. In that case, it will be just one. And it's a double hook. So the only way that I think that it would work properly is, is having this hook voting aggregator, because otherwise you could hook directly into conviction voting. But conviction voting doesn't know which is the pro which is the proportion of tokens that you are um, giving power to. Maybe you are giving power uh, ten percent of uh, honey and ninety percent of agave, and it is this component here who knows it. So you have to double hook it in order to send this information through the voting aggregator. So this will be one of the designs, uh, and this should be changed. Then it is not something that can be lightly. So for sure, I will I will let it as only as a, the a theoretical design, or if we implement it sometime, maybe we should not implement it for all the gardens. Maybe it's just some gardens can choose to do that, and they are exposed to have this double hook that makes things more ex a, li a little bit more expensive. As, as I was saying, this is not the best thing to do. It's not the worst. It, it, I think that it, it should work anyway, um, but it makes things more convoluted. I think that the, the, the meme that I was putting in the, in the chat was like, a lot of cables that are connected uh, among them. So <laughs> those cables look like this. And then the other thing that I wanted to share is this other pattern. That is, uh, in, the, in this case, we had multiple governance tokens. Uh, so you can have a garden with multiple tokens. It could be three tokens, actually. And they could be mini-me tokens or normal tokens as well, because we have this token manager that you can take your tokens on the token manager and it creates a new token, garden token. So they both will work, normal tokens and mini-me tokens, or native tokens. But this is for the governance of conviction voting as well as this. But what happens when you are requesting funds to conviction voting? Right now you are having a request token that it's just one of them. And normally it's the garden token. We are going to change it to XDI for TEC, but still it's only one token. So um, one of the things that can, we could be doing if we wanted to have multiple tokens that you can request, uh, like a, a pool of tokens that you want to request. Like you have, you are working with a kind of balancer pool and the balancer pool represents all the funds that the DAO have, sort of. Uh, so it could be one of those tokens, right? And the thing is that one of the changes that we can have is everything that is in the vault is, is, the, is represented by a token that we can call garden pool share token which is controlled by a token manager, and there is a redemption. So uh, a, redem a redemption app. So the redemption app, when you are re redeeming your garden pool share token but, uh, from the common pool, you are redeeming all the tokens that the pool have in a percentage. So when you are asking to conviction voting for 2% uh, of the tokens of the common pool, you are requesting 2% uh, of the supply of the garden pool the garden pool share token and this can be done as, as it is right now but a better way to do this would be to have a common pool bolt that is modified and as at the same time that it's a bolt it's as a token as well so you can hold part of the bolt of the of the of the DAO, 
which will be a very nice pattern and then the connection between commission voting and redeemable common pool will be that it is as at the same time the vault and the request token so um, a quick example of how it will be working imagine that there are 50 agave and 30 honey in the common pool and somebody earns a 10% of the of the common pool which means that it's 5 agave and 3 honey it has this token in their account but doesn't redeem it so what he has is this 10% of the pool right not the 5 agave or 3 honey uh, so in the the pool has only the 90% in the let's say that the pool still have the 50 agave and 30 honey but the DAO only owns the 90% of them and then somebody else earns another 10% of the pool but this time 10% doesn't mean the same because it's only 90% it's a 10% of the 90% so it will be like a 9% of the things that there is in the in the pool which is only 4.5 agave and 2.7 honey and they redeem it immediately so what they are redeeming is a 9% of the pool and then the first person, person comes and now his share is a, an 11% because of how re redemptions work and yeah they still ha can, ha can redeem 5 agave and 3 honey as in the beginning and you have here the calculations so I think that the, the time that I was working on that I think that both of these models will work for this and it's an interesting pattern in order to have um, I would prefer this one of course because it's much more simple but it requires coding and this and it, it doesn't and it's a nice pattern in order to be able to have a token that represents a portion and then the gardens would be able to have a treasury not only their own token in the common pool so this is it um, I will say that it's garden version 2 yeah, that's super cool though. Um, I want to I want to make sure that uh, I just want to say to Dash, uh, you mentioned that people are looking to do liquidity mining and wanting to be able to vote there. And uh, with Giveth, we had a similar issue, kind of. We didn't want to dissuade people from voting for in gardens because of liquidity mining, so, but we went the other direction. Instead of giving liquidity pool tokens the power to vote, we reward it. We incentivized uh, garden voting. And the thing is, to do that, you have to also have a staking pool where people can stake 100% of their tokens uh, and just be rewarded as holders so you don't get weird voting dynamics of paying people to vote, which you don't really want to do. But you don't want to dissuade them because of the opportunity cost either. So we uh, Giveth is doing a liquidity mining program plus a, uh, plus a staking just like 100%, you put your token in there, you don't have to vote on anything or think, and then and then anyone in Gardens gets the same rewards as the 100% staking pool. And we just do that more like old school balancer style, where like every two weeks, we will calculate how much time people had staked their tokens in Garden and then reward them after the fact. Awesome, yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I understand that there's kind of a weird dynamic there for uh, for what you exactly what you just said. But I was just thinking, like, if people want to also, like, partake in the project and provide liquidity, like, you'd kind of want, you know, a little bit more say in a sense, right? Your, your ass is on the line because, you know, the money is there and, you, you know, you're about to use that money for the project. So that's how kind of I see it. But, yeah, now that you say it that way as well, yeah, yeah I totally get it. Uh, I am with you. Uh, it would be so awesome to have multiple tokens be able to vote in gardens, but or in in conviction voting. But it's a it's a difficult task. Yeah, yeah. I think Sem's on the right track for sure on the way that he's designed it. Maybe uh, 
maybe he's going a little bit uh, too crazy on the engineering for sure. <laughs> if I would say it, I would just put conviction voting and then allocate each token uh, based on the one being 100% and then each allocated token has their own thing rather than going the aggregator route. But I'm so untechnical that probably just sounds silly, but yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the clearing that up. But yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning tons today. <laughs> there's only there's only a few minutes left. I want to bring up uh, this proposal for changing disputable voting to DAO voting, T A O voting, um, as a name. And I I just want to know like are there other stakeholders who how do we make that happen? Like if uh, if this is something that we want to do, what stakeholders need to have like a say in whether or not we change the name and um yeah who are they and and then what uh gabby do you do you have any ideas there yeah i think uh, uh maybe a, a blog post in the one high forum maybe i would start uh, of the discussion about that but at the same time i'm not sure we 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 ever uh give it a a proper name to the to the to the that that voting other than decision voting in the UI. So I don't think there will be a lot of pushback from from the side in on a new name. Okay, so just a forum vote um, in one hive would be enough. Yeah, I would I would say so. Okay. Okay. Cool. Because. And it will be so we, in the in the garden UI, no? The change, I mean, because I believe in the actual Aragon package manager name is the disputable volume, but we can check that. Uh, I I, th I don't think that's uh, a lot of problem from the uh, garden's UI because we can is, change it. Is there anyone specifically that we should DM when we make that forum post to make sure that they see it? I I will make um I would like to understand uh if it's a front end thing or it's an application level thing because in the front end we have mm, suggestions uh discussions and funding right no so suggestions and decisions and and funding and the decisions here is the what it was disputable voting and probably in the in the documentation part, we were saying that we were using disputable voting along uh, when we were talking about discussions. So I I see that there are three levels. One is the UI; it says discussions, and I am uh, sorry again. Uh, it says um, decisions, and I don't think that you want to change that, right? It's more in the documentation and the the naming of the app. And it, for configuration purposes is why we need it settled sooner rather than later for the dashboard. Okay. So in this level, uh, so probably it's not about changing the UX or UI. It's more about changing the documentation and maybe a little bit uh, the, maybe the repo name, but I will not go into the changing the, contract or something like that. Maybe we can have three names still. Like preserve the Aragon naming for this and just use this term in the documentation and maybe the repo name and that would be everything. Yeah, I think that's a good distinction. And, and yeah, I agree with you that on the, those three levels and and, and yeah keeping decision voting seems uh, the good way to go with the ui and then for when explaining the app uh, behavior yeah talk about that new names because in many posts and the documentation the wiki we were talking about this portable voting maybe we can just change it and and that's everything yeah, it's mostly for documentation. That's what I care about. And just going forward with the commons upgrade and the, especially for the dashboard. 
Uh, okay, well, Lauren said that she'd be interested in pushing the blog posts, the forum post. Um, I assume we can just do it with just one option, changing disputable to DAO voting, uh, unless there's any objections to that, and make it a yes or no thing instead of a here's six options pick. But I wouldn't cool. even give the option, to be honest. I would just say, hey, we're going to do this as a team. We thought it was better. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far as getting getting Dow opinion. Okay. One one last thing, uh, because I I see it in Hornet here. We have been working on a CRISPR, uh, in, on a script, on a on a library that is able to do EBM scripts much much be, um, fa faster and easier. So we will be sharing this along. It's almost ready. Uh, Paolo shared it uh, before. I don't know if you Green Hornet were, were uh, when he was showing it. But I, when I think on the EBM CRISPR, I am thinking. So I think that speci specifically you will uh, appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. That would be super handy. I mean, I've been hacking around on scene today again. We've had the um, second token in our DAO and um, I broke the front end <laughs> but um, yeah EVM scripts like the way um, the, the way it works right now kind of sucks <laughs> it works like I was like suck. so I mean like um, I'd love to see that basically so yeah I think that it's like it should be ready this week let's let's um, work towards it nice nice just um, pay me and um, let me see let me have a look at you when you're ready Okay, I think that we are ready, right, Bradley? Okay, if, if we don't have anything else. Ah, you are muted, Bradley. Thanks. Um, Paolo, thank you for sharing EVM CRISPR with us. That was phenomenal to see. Sam, thank you for sharing your architecture sketches with us. Uh, it's a lot to think about. Um, and thank you very much, everyone, for sharing your updates and moving us toward the goal here. Have a great week.